Um, too often politics can get in the way of common sense. So here we have a situation when, you know about health care, the Affordable Care Act, some people call it Obamacare. It's gotten to be a very polarizing political issue. And a lot of people just say no. Well, that's not the right answer in every case. So what this is an opportunity to say, we have a lot of challenging things coming to us due to the Affordable Care Act. Um, we're going to have additional tax burdens on Michiganders. The health care systems are going to be stressed because of some of the changes being made. But we have a positive opportunity here to really help people, to help people in need. And that's what this is all about. That's what Healthy Michigan is all about. The simple part of this issue is, is we have several hundred thousand Michiganders that health care is going to the emergency room because they don't have insurance. Quite often they wait until it's a crisis too, where it could have been handled much earlier. A lot of many cases, it, there was preventative care opportunities that just never happened. So they're going to be worse off personally, physically, maybe not able to hold a job because of all these challenges, versus getting health care at the front end in terms of primary care, in terms of having a physical and preventative care. And that's what this does, healthy Michigan. It also has incentives for them to take better care of their health. They will be some cost sharing. They will have to help contribute to the premium. But if they do health goals and they hit health goals, they can make that go away. So there's a real incentive for them to have some ownership too of their own health care. All they're using the ER today, who pays for that? All of us do. Through higher insurance premiums, through other mechanisms, we pay for that. And that's very expensive compared to primary care. So it would also save us, all Michiganders, money in terms of society being better off. That's a good answer too. 